Today is a new day and I'm going to be focusing on this area to the left of the stairs when you come up to the top of the stairs. I'm going to just do this small section and see how much progress I can make. I'm focusing on doing small chunks at a time so that I don't get overwhelmed. So as always, the first thing I'm going to look for is trash. Okay, this is all I see for now that's trash. Um, just a few things, so I'm gonna move on to easy stuff. Rocks, do your kids like pick up special rocks when you go somewhere? Maybe these are from a trip, I don't know where. I'm gonna put these outside with all the other rocks. And I'm gonna take this down, this reusable bag, because I'm going that same direction. Um, cause it's on the way. All right. Nothing else is really easy stuff. So I'm going to check for duck clutter. Mm. These are donations. Put these in my donate box. These are just clothes that need to be put back into their bins. This is a size five, so this is too small. And actually this is a size five also, so that's why they're sitting up here. They're too small. This, I know this is big. All right, this is a seven, so I'll put this in the bin with the sevens. And these are seven. So I'll put these things away. I don't donate all of the smaller clothes because we do have a lot of kids in our family that I like to hand clothes down to. This is extra fabric from a dance costume. I'm gonna hang on to this. This is a baby blanket. I'm gonna wash these. We were using this as like a storage box to organize things. I'm not sure where the top is though. I'm gonna see if I come across the top and then I can donate it all together. This is a bow that I've had for the past two years that's need to be fixed. The clip came unglued off the back. If I was gonna fix it, I should have fixed it when it first needed it. I'm gonna hold on this just for a little bit in the case I come across it. If it's over here, I'll fix it. If I don't find it, I'll just get rid of it. This is a very heavy garbage can. It doesn't really go with our style anymore. Our style has changed over the years. So I'm gonna donate this. In this area, I have extra decor stuff so when I want to rotate decor or like change up the styling of things in our living room or our family room. This is where our extra stuff lives, but I'm gonna go through it to see if it is in fact things that I wanna keep and use. Oh, these are boots that were given to me because they didn't fit my friend, so she thought they would fit me. They're actually really small even though they're my size and they do not fit. And I tried to find somebody that could wear them, but nobody, ah, oh, they're so cute, but they don't fit. I don't know anybody else that wears this size either. I'm gonna have to donate them. I don't know what else to do with them. I'm debating whether or not I will ever use this again. I don't think I will. So it's big and it's from Pier 1, but it looks like I got it 80% off for $11.99. I mean, I've used it for many years. It served its time, I think. I think I'm done with that. Oh, 
this is another thing that we had gotten from Hobby Lobby, I think. We had it hanging on our, like, a gallery wall. But I'm trying to minimize word signs, things with words on it. A few, maybe here and there, but it seemed like we had too many. That's why I didn't put it back up after we repainted the living room. Although I do have a couple weddings coming up this year, so I might incorporate it with a wedding gift. Right? Save me a little bit of money. Again, another thing with words on it. Telling me how to feel. <laughs> I'm gonna donate this. See, uh, this was a vase that I used to have out at Christmas time, but it wasn't with the Christmas stuff, so I didn't use it this year. We actually used it for like a frozen birthday party too, a long time ago. I'm gonna let this go, and I don't need another vase. I'm not putting this stuff in the donate box just yet because I'm gonna have to like, this breakable stuff, I'm gonna wrap it up in uh, bubble wrap first. These are the flowers that used to be in that blue and white vase. I'm trying to use less fake flowers and more real flowers. I can't think of a place where I would use these. Plus they get dusty and they're so hard to clean too. This is a little candle holder and I don't really have a use for it. I hope somebody is excited to find it. Again, another blue and white flower arrangement. I don't think I'm gonna be using this. I'm just thinking like, where would I put this? I can't think of a spot where it could go. These I actually think I'm gonna put in my office because they have my business colors. These owls were from my mom to put into my daughter's room, but she doesn't really like them anymore. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I am gonna hang onto this little shelf um, because we may use it in one of their rooms. Cause my, my oldest has been asking for more, for a little shelf to put up. So I am gonna hang onto this for now. Here's another sign with words on it. I don't know if I wanna keep this or not. I'm gonna see what my husband thinks. I'll ask him. So earlier my battery died, so <laughs> I don't know where it left off. Um, and then my daughter came up because she wanted to help. So this is how it looks on this side right now. Much better than it was. I'll probably end up moving those bins once I clear out space in the other areas. And then this is a box that's full of donations that I gotta take downstairs. So, so far so good. Hi everyone, we're going to be tackling a new section of the attic today, and I'm happy to say that the stairs are still clear, I have not filled them back up, and I'm going to show you another section that is that we finished last time. So this is the current situation here. I have a lot of stuff that just needs to be put away, extra stuff. I'm going to go clockwise around the room, and I'm going to work through the dresser area, and I'm gonna go through all these coats that are hanging up because I'm sure a lot of them have been outgrown or they're just ones that we don't use anymore and try to minimize those some more. So I'm just gonna break it down into sections instead of trying to tackle the whole thing. I don't really have all day to work on this space so I'm gonna break it down into chunks, into sections, and I'm just gonna spend one hour on one section and see what kind of progress I make. I'm not gonna try to get the whole area done in a short amount of time because that would just be too much and then I would just get then I would just give up so I'm going to just focus on a piece at a time and see how I do I'm not gonna have these giant expectations of getting it all done because that's just not realistic so if I set smaller goals for myself then it's much more easier to accomplish you may be wondering what these are these are for dance they are called wiglets, and they go over their little buns so that they have curls on their heads. So I'm gonna put these um, with the extra dance costumes. This is uh, my daughter's solo costume from last year. 
I'm going to also put this with the dance costumes. And this is one that we did not use, but I would like to try to sell. These are Christmas gifts that my kids got, and they are too small. The gloves are too small, the hat is too small for their giant heads. So these I'm going to put in my donate box, which I have over here. Poncho, I'm going to put this with our travel stuff. This is a really nice kaleidoscope. See that? But I'm going to donate this. This is sentimental stuff. These are photo albums that have my dad's pictures in them. This has like cards that he's remodeled. So these I definitely want to keep like in my memory bin, but I think they're a little bit too big. I'm gonna set them with the memory bin for now, and I might have to find a safer place to preserve these. Um, these are keys that also were my dad's that I want to keep because some of them are craftsmen and they go to like his tool chests. Um, so these I'm definitely gonna hang on to because there was a lot of issues with not having keys for things um, after he passed away. We didn't know where keys were. So these I'm definitely going to keep. This was mine when I was a baby. And my grandparents would always give me half dollars. I don't know if people have half dollars anymore. Maybe they do. Um, but it's full of half dollars. I think my kids actually won. My youngest wanted this. So I want to pass this down to her. I'll see if she wants it in her room or not. This is an extra lamp base. My husband uses these for Halloween, so I guess I could put this over the Halloween stuff. Okay, so I got the top all cleared off. Um, this is another little dresser that was left here by the previous owners, so we've just been using it for random storage over the years. In this drawer, I have tap shoes. This is something that I can donate. This has never been used. Yeah, this can be donated. Okay. So, tap shoes in there. This drawer has all of our Halloween clothes in it. I'd like to have it all together so that I can find it when I'm looking for it. So this is all Halloween stuff. There's a soccer jersey. Don't need that anymore. Okay. This drawer has some extra gifts in it. Actually, these socks, I'm gonna see if my oldest daughter wants these. These are too small on me, unfortunately. They are not meant for people with uh, larger legs, but I bet you she would really love these. I'm going to see if she wants these, and if not, I will donate them. Okay, that drawer is empty. Okay, so that's good. All right, on to the next area. So I have all these, li these little kid umbrellas. I've been trying to get rid of these for like five years, but the kids still want to keep them. I mean, this, this is a good one. This one was from the... World Wildlife Fund. Um, so this is a nice, like, a bigger sized one. But these are like the little kid ones. They never use these. They never use these. This is the one I'm definitely going to keep because this is a nice one. The hat rack was also something that was left behind. I never would have bought a hat rack before. Um, some of these hats were used as either dance costumes or Halloween costumes. That's why we've kept them because we can repurpose them for Halloween or whatever. They're fine. They can stay on this rack. Snow pants. Now these are the ones that I had bought for my oldest, but some of these we just 
these were handed down to us. We had a friend give us a bunch of these snow pants this year. And they're still too big. They're, they're really big. Um, but I mean, we will definitely use them. So I'm just going to store them because they're in excellent condition. They look like, they look barely used. Okay, so I'm still working clockwise around the room. These brown boxes back here, these are blinds that were made slightly too small for our windows. And we got new ones. See? Brand new. I was trying to sell them, but they're very specific size. I can't, so nobody can really use them. So I think I'm just going to donate them and if somebody else can, thinks that they can use them, then that's what I'm going to do. I have to share my frustrating story with you <laughs> of my recent attempt to make donations. So our closest place to make donations is about 25, maybe 30 minutes away. Um, and the boxes that I had were just too heavy for me, so my husband said that he would take them. He's like, I'll go, I'll drive, I'll drop them off. He has a list, we make an itemized list so that we can deduct them from our, uh, for taxes purposes. And it was a weekend and the store was open, so he's like, okay, I'll, I'll make a trip down there, drop the stuff off, and then I'll be back. So he drives down there and then he texts me and he says that the donation part is closed. The store was open and normally they say that you can make donations anytime during business hours, during the store hours, right? But the back door for donations was locked and closed and there was nobody there to accept donations and they had it like blocked off so you could you weren't supposed to leave anything outside. That was a waste of an hour round trip. And that's why it's difficult for me to get things out of the house. With the price of gas, I don't want to like just make a special trip. I would like to try to combine and consolidate trips as much as I can. And we have a dance competition coming up this weekend, so those boxes are gonna have to get back out of my trunk. I'm just gonna leave them in the barn for now and we'll try again another weekend. It's, it's frustrating. I mean, if it was just clothes, then that's not a problem. We have local churches and stuff very close to us that we can drop clothes off, but it's, if it's anything else, it has to go to like Salvation Army or Goodwill and places like that. At least they're out of the house, they're out in the barn, so that frees up space for me to work inside here. In that back corner in that white box is my wedding dress that was preserved. I would like to keep that. I have the room for it. That's not an issue. I'm just gonna keep it. The picture frame that's on top is something that my mom had asked me to store for her because she was going to put pictures in it as a gift for somebody and she wanted it to stay hidden. So I'm hanging on to that for her. All right, I'm gonna try to clear up a little bit of this floor space here. These sandals my daughter got last year. They're in great shape. She used them when they went hiking. They still should fit her. They're the right size. So I'm gonna hang on to these. I'm gonna put these in the shoe cabinet. These are my husband's old Crocs. They were like, there's holes in them. They're worn like paper thin. He has new ones. He was using these as like, when he was working outside and stuff. These I'm gonna toss out because he has new ones that we've gotten. This goes to my daughter's winter jacket. This is the belt that goes with it. Um, so I need to put this with the jacket. It's a hanger. It's another hat. They each like to have a sun hat for when they go to the beach. These are dance. These are for dance. Um, they're too big, so I'm gonna stick these in her future bin. Garbage, garbage. Oh, these are for travel. 
I usually put these with our travel stuff. And this box is empty. I had gotten my husband these boots as a anniversary gift. And I had kept the box for a little while in case they were too small and I had to return them. But he's worn them enough that I can't return them, even though they're too small. Well, I guess they have to be broken in. This is leather cleaner that goes with those boots, so I'm going to put this in the shoe cabinet. Okay, that's already better. So back on, in the back are the sleeping bags. I'm going to fix those. Those are the kids' sleeping bags for when they have like their sleepovers. This is a dress that my mom bought for the girls. She got it on clearance. And they've never had an occasion to wear it. So, and now they're a bit too big for it. So, since it still has the tags on it, I'm going to take it to our kids' consignment shop and I'm going to try to sell it for a few bucks. We no longer need this bathrobe. My daughter just got a new one for Christmas. So, we don't need this extra one anymore. These are my shirts. Um,. I don't know why they're over here. I'm gonna let these go. I doubt that they still fit anymore anyways. Okay, so these are two, these are the raincoats that currently fit them. And then this one is a size too small, I believe. Yeah, this one's a 5T, so this one's too small. But these ones fit, so I'll keep these. This was meant to go over a Christmas dress. Um, it's got something on it, so I gotta wash this. This jacket is a size five, so this is too small. I can probably sell this at the consignment shop too, because it's in good shape. My daughter hates this jacket because the Velcro always gets stuck in her hair. And the hood doesn't come off, so if the hood came off, it would be an issue, but it, it always gets stuck in her hair. And she has a new one, so this can also go. This is um, to wear at Christmas time. Oh yeah, I'll stick these. These snow pants I'm going to put in with the, the other ones in the other bin, even though they're a 5T. This is how tall my daughter is. <laughs> Cause she's very short. These are the ones that currently fit her. And then we'll just have all, I'll put them in with the ones that she'll grow into. Okay, so I have a little bit more time before I have to go pick up my kids at grandma's house. So I'm gonna keep working for a little bit longer and make a little bit more progress. Every time I get a few minutes, I'm gonna keep, you know, chipping away at it. These jackets are actually my dad's, so these are more sentimental. I'm definitely not getting rid of them, so I'm gonna just hang on to these for now. And then also, the jackets that are my husband's, I'm gonna put them all together and then he can go through his jackets and decide what he doesn't want anymore. My husband has a lot of jackets, apparently. These are all his jackets. He had to dress up as Santa one year. And the jacket is completely ripped. And this is a pair of black dress pants. That, there's no way that these would fit me. These are from high school think they have really wide legs okay those can go Okay, so for now I just, I moved the jackets out of the way so that I could 
work on this area that's behind them. And we have a poorly folded air mattress and some more travel backpacks and travel stuff um, over there. And there's some secret Santa Christmas paper in the back. Um, so I'm gonna go through and tidy up this area next. And again, I'm just working my way around the room clockwise. Instead of going here, there, everywhere, it helps you see progress as you go. These are all extra garment bags for costumes. This is a like a travel backpack, but it also is padded so that I could put my laptop in here too and it'll be protected. I could put like his um his pirate costume in this. That would be good. Okay. These are travel backpacks that we got when we went on our trip to Italy. And we did also use these recently when we went on our trip to Disney. They're in excellent condition. I'm definitely going to keep these. The secret hidden Santa paper. This goes in my cedar chest. So I'm gonna put this in the cedar chest. So this came with our luggage set, but I don't know if we've ever used this. This is not something that I would use. So I'm gonna donate this because it's been sitting here forever and I don't see myself ever using this. Just double check all the pockets, make sure there's nothing in there, you know? Now, I, there's some of these that I do want to keep and the kids want to keep, but there are some of them that I have listed on dance costume, like Facebook pages for resale. So if I am able to, I will try to sell some of these because a lot of people sell them because they're only used a few times. They're gently used. So a lot of times you can buy a gently used costume, save some money and you know get some more use out of it so not all these are being kept but I do need to get them kind of organized again all right so I have finished up for the day in this bin we have dance costumes this bin we have Christmas pants Christmas sweaters so it's all contained it's separate from their regular stuff this bin has extra snow pants and then we have the suitcases other travel stuff and garment bags and then freed up space so when I come back next time I will keep working my way around the room one section at a time thank you all so much so far for all of your comments and your support I really really appreciate it I love all of the tips and stuff that you're leaving in the comments below. Keep those coming. And I hope you are able to tackle some hard areas in your home as well. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It helps me out a lot. And I hope to see you in the next one.
Take care. Bye-bye.